The Air Valley Conference Volleyball beginning their season yesterday with their annual play day at Liberty High School. All conference teams involved with a premier matchup featuring longtime rivals Emmaus and Parkland who have each won the LVC title twice with Parkland the most recent coming in 2010. Doug Heater was on hand as the highlights from the key early season LVC showdown. Emmaus knocked off Parkland last season in three games in the only meeting between the two teams and along with the Trojans are perennial league contenders every season. The Hornets who lost five starters from last season's district championship team roared out of the gates taking a 5-1 lead mostly behind the play of senior Travis Mincer. The Trojans would tie the game at six apiece then at 7, 10 and 11 and would take their first lead after a block by one of their four seniors, Reno Priz. After falling behind 14-12, the Hornets, who have six seniors on the squad, scored four straight points to lead 16-14, one they would never relinquish. Junior left side Colin Stanton added a kill and a block to go along with Mincer's rejection and the third kill of the match for junior Gabe Shankweiler. After Parkland pulled it within 23-21, the Mass would score the final two points on kills by Mincer and Stanton to close out game one 25-21. Game two started much like the first with Emmaus jumping to an early lead. Mincer himself scored the first four points for Emmaus on three blocks and one kill, proving when he was on the floor, he virtually took over the game. Brand new setter Guacmi Nguyen continued to place the ball right where each of his big hitters could handle it, spreading the wealth early in game two again to Mincer, Stanton, and even junior middle hitter Justin McTish. The Green Hornets took their largest lead at 12-4, then at 23-14 after attack errors by the Trojans. Nguyen took care of business on game point, giving the Hornets a 2-0 lead after the 25-16 win. Game 3 had a different feel right from the start. Parkland took the lead at 2-1 after a kill by senior Zach Dolan. Five straight points by Emmaus, two for Mincer and a pair of kills by Shankweiler and Stanton put the Hornets back in front at 6-2. Parkland took the lead at 8-7 after a kill by junior Mike Lewis and held that advantage till Emmaus tied it at 21 apiece after a mistake by the Trojans. Trading points, Emmaus and Parkland went into extra volleyball after being tied for the ninth time. The Trojans managed to score the game's final three points and took game three 27-25 after points by Chris and Dolan. After a between game talk from head coach Deb Schlosser, Emmaus came out with a vengeance in game four. After opening a 3-0 lead, the Hornets scored 11 straight points and built an insurmountable 14-2 advantage with points from Stanton, Shankweiler, Mincer, along with an ace from sophomore Jake Reynolds. The Trojans never got closer than 11 points and fittingly saw Stanton and Mincer score the final two points. The Hornets won the match three games to one after the Game 4 25-12 win. I think we did really good. We came out strong and we finished strong. We gave, we didn't do as good as I would hope the third game, but we came back strong in the fourth and finished it. First match, uh, we came out a little, a little bit rough, um, just trying to work the kinks out. I mean, we haven't scrimmaged that much during the preseason, so that really helped. Um, yeah, just like working on running plays and stuff. Our, our passing was pretty, pretty on key, and the blocking too. It's just being able to communicate and stuff like that. Just run, run the sets. I was happy with how they played. I think that uh, they need to push all the time instead of sitting back and waiting for it to happen. But we had some younger guys who stepped up, and that's what I was looking for. Up next for Emmaus, who has now beaten Park on the last two meetings after dropping all three in 2010, is a home match on Thursday against Allen, while Parkland tries to regroup at home on Thursday against Nazareth. On the scene covering the Don Hunt Memorial Volleyball Challenge here at Liberty's Memorial Gym, Doug Heater for two sports.